down. And what you're going to do is you're going to click into this and you're going to just type in the numbers here. Let me just tell you a couple things though that might happen. So when you, when you click in here, if, if you move it, you can move it. I don't want you to move it. So the goal is to, to just, I put these text boxes here and I don't want you to move them, but I want you to, to write in them. So if you click right in here where the start is and then just move your cursor, just push right arrow until you get, and then hit the space bar. I can go one, two, three, four. And then we start over. One, two, three, four. And you keep, oops, four. And then you keep on going. If something happens and you make a mistake, let's say you make a mistake and you get off there and you're like, oops, I want to fix that. And you just hit delete. You may accidentally delete the text bar. That is not a problem. What you can do is go up here to edit, excuse me, undo, and it'll undo it. Another way that you can do that is if you look on your keyboard, there's control. If you hold down control and then hit Z, that will also undo. So this one, number two, here's how I'd like you to write these. And notice I'm kind of giving you the answers for these first ones. So I hope you, I hope you get 100 on these first couple anyway. If I go down here, go down to start, get that cursor blinking. I'm going to go over here, get underneath the note. I'm going to type one. And then I'm just going to do a dash because I don't say anything. Make a couple spaces. I'm going to say three and do that. So I'm going to go one three and that's how i want you to write that when you are just saying the sound all the way through so this would be the same thing one and then three and i just put one space in between you don't have to it doesn't matter that's how you do that so then likewise for this one you would just go down here click in hit the space bar a couple times i hit one and then i don't say anything else right so they go all the way through four and this next one will be one and go all the way through four. So I want you to fill out the top and I want you to fill out the bottom. And after you're done with that, um, if you just look at the top right here, you'll notice that Google Docs will save automatically. Just make sure that it says saved in Google. And then when you're done with this assignment, if you just X out of it and then you go into your classwork, uh, your class tab and say submit you don't have to actually put anything into that box just hit the submit button the document's already in there i made it for you if you have any questions do email me and don't freak out about this assignment if if you're if you're having a hard time doing this part of it just watch this video again and don't freak out all right good luck have fun